Dr. C.J. Dutt and today we will discuss about the pseudoplastic flow in the chapter rheology in the subject physical pharmaceutics to sample. So here the pseudoplastic flow it comes under non-Newtonian fluid, non-Newtonian flow that means the substance which do not follow Newton's law of flow they are known as a non-Newtonian fluid. So over here we need to discuss about the pseudoplastic flow. So here, if we are plotting a graph of searing stress versus rate of shear, if we are plotting a graph of searing stress versus rate of shear, then over here, in case of pseudoplastic flow, the behavior, the pattern is like that. It will start from the origin. It will start from the origin. That means we can say it starts from the zero. And over here, if we are raising the searing stress, if we are raising the searing stress, that means if we are raising the F component, then the G component will be increases. That means G component, that means the rate of shear that will be increases. The only difference we can say over here is compared to the plastic rock, that is the trend that is not linear. Here, if we are raising the searing stress, if we are raising the searing stress, then in that condition, whatever the trend of the slope that is obtained, that is not a linear, the curve that is obtained, that is not a linear. That means, if we want to define any particular substance, if we want to define the viscosity of any pseudoplastic flow, then we cannot explain by a word. Over here, in case of pseudoplastic flow, the viscosity of substance that is not explained by a single one medium because here the line or we can say the flow pattern that is not a straight. Now the substance which obeys such type of pattern or we can say the substance which follow the pseudoplastic flow that is the trigger guns in water, trigger gun in water, then sodium alginate in a water, then methyl cellulose in water and sodium carboxymethyl cellulose in water. See, this all are, we can say, this all are polymer. We can say this all are polymer. That means, generally, such type of flow pattern that is observed in case of polymer. Now, we will, to understand this pseudoplastic flow, we need to understand one example of one of the polymer, this is one of the polymer, dissolved in a, or added into a water. So over here, if we are considering, here, the polymer, they are at a rest. Over here, in this figure, the polymer, they are at rest. So now, in a normal storage condition, see, when we have stored our suspension, when we have stored our suspension, so at that time, see, now we are discussing about the pseudoplastic flow. In case of pseudoplastic flow, there will be a random arrangement of the molecule. There is a random arrangement, that means the orientation that is not confirmed. In which orientation there will be arrangement, that is not confirmed. That means random arrangement will be there. And in this polymer, there will be the presence of water molecule. These are the water molecule. This is the presence of water molecule. And over here, the water molecule that is bound with the polymer. This water molecule, they are attached with the polymer substance. So, this is the condition at rest. We have not applied any type of stress over here. Now, if we are applying stress, if we are applying stress in this polymer, if we are applying stress, then all the molecules, the long axis in the direction of the force applied. That means all the molecules will be arranged in which the long axis, long axis, that means we are considering about this, that will be the longer part of the polymer that will be arranged in the force applied, in the direction of the force applied. That means if we have applied, we are applying force from over here, that means our direction, that is from left to right. So that the polymer molecule, they will be arranged from left to right. And one more thing we can say over here, the water that will be released. See, over here, we can say the water molecule, these are the water molecule, they are released from the polymer. 
So, one another thing we can say is, it reduces the internal resistance of a material. Over here, there, were, there is a presence of internal resistance, whereas when we are applying a stress, when we are applying the stress, so at that condition, in this condition, the resistance of the material that will be released or it will be uh, decreased. And the solvent, mol solvent molecule, that is the water, that will be released over here. So, this is the particular condition that happens when we are giving force in case of pseudoplastic flow. So when we have the pseudoplastic material, so in that certain condition, when we are applying the stress, and generally this happens in case of polymers. So, when we are applying the force, or we can say when we are applying stress. So, in this stressful condition, whatever the polymer, polymer molecules they are having the random arrangement, they will be arranged on a particular direction that means that is in a uh, direction of the force applied and then afterwards they will start to flow and here we can consider that the viscosity that cannot be explained by a one thing. Now if afterwards after this condition once this process will be finished then afterwards if you are applying more and more stress and you do that the F that means searing stress, if you are raising the searing stress, then in that condition the rate of shear will be raised. Now, if you are considering about the equation or the formula of this, then F that is equals to F raised to N that is equals to eta dash into G, where N that is the number given the exponent, given to the exponent. That is the number given to the exponent and eta dash that is the viscosity coefficient. Now over here if you are considering the pseudoplastic flow, F that is the searing stress and G that is the rate of shear. Now if we are considering about the pseudoplastic flow or the pseudoplastic behavior, then the value of N over here, the value of N that will be higher than 1. The value of m, that means the exponent that is given over here, that will be in case of pseudoplastic flow, always it will be higher than 1. If we are considering if when n is equals to 1, then we can say, we, we need to say that the flow pattern that is of Newtonian fluid. That means it will never be less than 1 or equal to 1 in case of pseudoplastic flow. And if the greater the value of n, that means if we are considering the value of n that is higher than 1, then we can say the greater will be the pseudoplastic behavior. If the value of n that is going to be increases, then the pseudoplastic behavior of the particular material that will be increased. So, over here we have discussed about the pseudoplastic flow, the rheogram or the consistency flow of the pseudoplastic flow, then the characteristic of pseudoplastic flow then the example about this and the, what happened exactly when product that is in a storage condition and when we are applying stress to the our product and we have discussed about the formula or the equation about the pseudoplastic flow. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching this video.